Good morning, good morning, good morning everyone. How are you today? Of course, it's nice to say you are blessed by Jesus and highly favored by God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. In uh, John chapter 10, verse 28 to 30. And I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of my Father's hand. And my Father are one. Jesus said that. Amen. In John chapter 14, verse 6, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you can, Jesus said in Mark chapter 9, verse 23, If you can, everything is possible for one who believes amen praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah amen remember always there is power in the name of jesus how does the person say become saved The Bible clearly teaches that the moment a person turns from his sin is trust in Jesus to be forgiven of his sin. He is saved in Acts chapter 2 verse 37 to 41. He has passed from spiritual life in john chapter 5 verse 24 and has been declared not guilty in god's court of law in romans chapter 3 verse 21 to 26 i want to read to you guys the verse in uh, acts chapter 2 verse 37 to 41 in king james version now when they heard this day we are cut to the heart and said to peter and the rest of the apostles men and brethren what shall we do in verse 38 then peter said to them repent and let every one of you be baptized in the name of jesus christ for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the holy spirit and verse 39 for the promise is to you and to your children and to all who are afar off as many as the lord our god will call in verse 40 and with many other words he testified and exhorted them saying be saved from this uh, perverse generation in verse 41 then those who gladly receive his word were baptized and that day about three thousand souls were added to them Amen. In John chapter 5, verse 24, Most assuredly I say to you, He who hears my words and believe in him, who sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into judgment, but has passed from death into life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And in Romans chapter 3, verse 21 to 26, 
God's righteousness through faith. Amen? In verse 21, Romans. Oh, I have a commercial. The baby girl is here. How are you, baby girl? Oh, my little baby girl and my husband, they are going out now. And he wants to say to me, Mommy, I will be going out. You want to see my baby girl? Now she is there. Let me see, baby. Come here, darling. Now she wants to say goodbye. <laughs> see you, Daddy. Good morning. Okay, in Romans uh, chapter 3, verse 21. But now the righteousness of God apart from the law is revealed being witnessed by the law and the prophets in verse 22 romans verse 22 even the righteousness of god through faith in jesus christ to all and all who believe amen for there is no difference and verse 23 for all have seen and fall short of the glory of God. And verse 24, being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. And verse 25, whom God set forth as a propitiation by His blood through faith to demonstrate his righteousness because in his forbearance God had passed over the sins that were previously committed. Amen. To demonstrate at the present time his righteousness that he might be just and the justifier of one who has faith in Jesus. There is power remember that there is power in the name of jesus we love the scriptures in philippians chapter 2 verse 9 to 11 therefore god has highly exalted him and has freely bestowed on him the name that is above every name that at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow of those in heaven, those on earth, and those under the earth, and that every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father, you might ask yourself, why, is, why there is power? In the name of Jesus. What does his name mean? Okay, my dearest beloved. The name of Jesus is a Greek male name meaning Savior. Unlike us who got our names from family members, Jesus Christ got his name from heaven delivered to his parents by angels. And he really did what the meaning of his name is he saved us by being faithful to the task given to him <clears throat> humbling himself even becoming obedient to the point of death and volunteering to die for the sins of many to die for the sins of you to die for the sins of us. To die for the sins of me. God exalted Jesus Christ by giving power to the name of Jesus Christ. Now we know a name that is above all. Other names given on earth. There is now situation that is above the name of Jesus. No preacher, doctor, or demon's, demon's name can be conferred 
of the name of Jesus Christ. Remember, my dearest beloved, no preacher, no doctors or demons name can be conferred to the name of Jesus Christ. For it is a strong tower where the saints run to. Whatever we face, our first option should always be to call upon the name of Jesus Christ. For through that name, the foundation are shaken and demons tremble. And the Bible teaches us that there is a name above all. Other names that we know, whatever circumstances, trials, or tribulations we are facing, they are just names, which are all under one greater name, Jesus Christ. Remember that there is power in the name of Jesus. So when you are feeling down and out and in need of direction, call upon the name of Jesus and he shall set you free. You are sick right now? Pray and ask to God for the healing. In the name of Jesus, he can heal you. Look to Jesus and meditate his word. In Isaiah 53 verse 5, in New King James Version, he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him. And by his stripes, we are healed. Amen. I telling this story many times to everyone. When I was young, I have epileptic. And my mother, she likes to go into the doctor. And she's always crying every time I have epileptic. My eyes is going up. My mouth is going different direction and my hands is going different direction and my legs is going different direction because of the epileptic. My, my mother, she's always going to the doctor. But when I get older, at the age of 20 years old, I have epileptic again and I asked to my mother and she started panic again and he said mother enough from now on I don't want to go into the doctor I want to go to my great position only Jesus only him because of the stripes of Jesus because of his blood every weeping to his body I accept now is my healing my healing from now on this is my last epileptic and I will not going to the doctor no more praise God it was 1990 at the time I was 20 years old since 1990 praise the Lord because of his name Jesus there is power there is power since 1990 when I asked to my mother this is my last epileptic and because of Jesus because of his blood because of every weeping to his body because of every dripping blood to his body 
is my healing. And I claim that in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Since 1990 until now, 2023, I never go to the doctor. I never went to the doctor. And my epileptic gun. Gone in the name of Jesus. My dearest beloved, if you believe in the name of Jesus, you will see his power. When you pray, you need to think, you need to meditate, and you need to put in your heart. When you pray, even it's not there yet, even you didn't see the sign yet, you need to claim there is power in the name of Jesus. You need to claim if you pray for healing, you need to claim you are healed already. Even you didn't see any sign. You need to claim you are healed and you will get healed because of your faith. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's happened to me, my dearest beloved. It's happened to me. I am healed because of the blood of Jesus. From 1990, since when I was young, I have epileptic. And when I got epileptic, 1990, I was 20 years old. I claim the blood of Jesus and thanks be to God, I am healed. Now is 2023. I'm 53 years old. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. God is so good. He is so good. But you need to believe there is power in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen.